So it is chapter 4 and our 14th tutorial now. The title of chapter 4 is Fluid Kinematics. That is, we don't study force here. We only study the motion of fluids with mathematics. This video deals with velocity field and how it is gonna be visualized with streamlines. Velocity field is really important in the flow. It can completely describe a flow. The dimension and the steadiness are really the basic information it can tell. In fluid mechanics, we have to model both the time and space. So, for general flow, we have four independent variables. So this is the time variable, and these three are the space variables. But, in this course, we usually deal with steady one or two dimension flows. So these are gone. And sometimes this is also gone. We shall see that reducing the independent variables saves much of the work in chapter 6. We can also visualize the velocity field using tools such as streamlines so that we can study the flow geometry. We will also talk about how to do this later in this video. As you recall, stagnation points are just points with zero velocity. Of course, we can locate them with the velocity field known. Finally, just like in statics and dynamics, we can obtain the acceleration from the velocity by finding its derivative. However, the derivative here is the material derivative, which is slightly different from what we learned in calculus. I will talk about that in the next video. In this course, we are usually interested in the three methods of visualizing the velocity field. The streamlines are the lines that are tangential to the velocity field. As you have learned in the multivariable calculus, this definition gives the following formula. Another one, the path line, is just the trajectory of particles. Actually, your job is done after integrating the velocity field and obtain the position vector. But if you don't want a parameterization of the curve, you can do some manipulation to obtain an implicit or explicit form of the path line. But sometimes this is just impossible. About the last one, I think the definition is quite hard to understand. So what I put down here is just how we can actually make a streamline. Dying a point in a flow is a common technique in a fluid experiment. Usually, we just pretend that we are showing the streamline. But actually, that is the straight line that we are playing with. But I know that it is quite hard to understand what is the difference between the three lines. So, I ask you to go to lecture and listen how professor talked about this example. I remember that there was a simulation of this example. Also try to digest this example at home. But the exam usually asks for streamline. So, do remember this equation for the streamline. And that is not given in the exam. But, your job is not done after plugging in the velocity component into the equation you still have to solve the resulting ODE. Usually, in the exam, the given velocity field is easy, so that the resulting ODE is separable. We will work on one example about that. But, in fact, not all the velocity fields give separable ODEs. For example, in chapter 6, you learn about irrotational flows. These velocity fields give exact ODE, but some exact ODE are not separable. We shall see this in a later example. But there are some ugly velocity fields that are both rotational and does not give separable ODE. They will need to use numerical methods to plot their streamlines. Now this one is also important. The three lines in the previous slide are the same line under steady flows. So, in a fluid experiment, under steady conditions, Showing the streak line is same as showing the streamline. Otherwise, streak line is not that important. We shall now look at our first example. So, we wish to show that this equation is indeed the equation of streamline. So, to do this, our first method is to find the streamline equation from the velocity field. But unfortunately, this equation is not a separable ODE, and it is quite hard to do. So, is there any other method? Yes, 
The second method is to compute dy dx, and if this equals v divided by u, then it is streamlined. So let's write down the streamlined equation. For convenience, let's let this constant as psi. And then from your multiple calculus, the total derivative of this constant with respect to x is. And then this goes 0 since it is a constant. So that we can solve for dy dx. So let's go on and calculate these two guys. And V divided by U is and this cancels out and that is dy dx. So this in fact is a streamline. In chapter 6, you learn that this function is in fact called the stream function. And in fact, this differential equation is exact since the stream function exists. Now we continue to complete this example. For flow parallel to y axis, it cannot have the x component. So we take u equals 0, and that implies x squared minus y squared equals 0. And that is x plus y, x minus y. So x equals plus minus y. And if we plot this point out, it will look like this. For stagnation point, we also require that v equals 0. That implies x equals 0 or y equals 0. If x equals 0, y equals 0. If y equals 0, then x equals 0. So in any case, we only have the origin as the stagnation point. Now we shall look at another example about obtaining streamlines. For streamline, we require that this cancels out. Luckily, this equation is separable. And we throw things around. And since we require that the streamline pass through origin, so that we use definite integral as a shortcut, and then we can obtain And we make y as the subject, and this is our streamline. Well, without a computer, I don't know how to plot this. But say the streamline is going like this, then it is a better practice for us to plot the direction of the streamline too. Looking at the velocity field as the origin, we have velocity equals zero. But for points on the left of the xy plane, we have u smaller than zero. So this point goes left. And for x greater than 0, this point goes right. So we see that the particles on this streamline is moving away from the origin. And finally, we shall answer this question. We see that the velocity field is independent of t, so that the flow is steady. And for steady conditions, the strict line is same as the streamline as we found, since it passed through origin. So today we discuss what we can do with velocity field. We also look at what is streamline, path line, and streak line. Finally, we went through two examples about that. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Feel free to ask us any question and give us any feedback in the comments.